Welcome back. The KTSM team got the chance to try some of the delicious food at a media tasting for the El Paso Chihuahuas. It was hosted this evening at Southwest University Park. And among some of the food items were some buffalo sandwiches. You can see Monica there, nachos, and even ice cream. And you can see there I am eating, I believe that's called a, El Chuco Fry. It was really <laughs> good. Uh, a lot of the crew was there, including our very own Sam Guzman, Colin Deaver, Trevor Thompson, Monica, and of course myself. And Monica, what was your favorite food? Mm, that's a good one. I think <laughs> I liked one of the hot dogs that was there. Um, it had chicharrones oh. and it had some cheese on it. It was just so delicious. So yeah. if you look at a chicharron hot dog, <laughs> that everything was, my was good. <laughs> yeah. It really was. It was <laughs> delicious. And you know, we had some ice cream, like you said, which mm -hmm. is a perfect day for today. We definitely are looking at some warm temperatures overall. We're starting to slowly cool. 70 degrees is where we're at right now. Northerly winds at about seven miles per hour. So. Yes, it is starting to slowly cool on this very beautiful spring-like day, but get ready because we're about to see some very cool afternoon highs very soon. 83 degrees was your official high for today, 84 in Las Cruces, 81 in Juarez. And as for how we compare, well, on average, El Paso should be hovering closer to 78 degrees. 83 is what we hit, so again, normal is 78, 83 is what we registered, so that was above average. This morning, we started off at 61 degrees. 10 degrees above where we're supposed to be for this time of year. Tonight into tomorrow morning, we are expecting to be a little more seasonal. We're forecasting 49 degrees in El Paso, 43 in Las Cruces, and about 48 in Juarez. So tomorrow, we're going to have an upper wave move through, basically, and all you really need to know is that we're going to get a little push of cool air moving into our area. Cool air is usually very, very dry, and on top of this, we're going to have some breezy conditions. So get this, imagine it. We have some dry conditions, dry vegetation, and some breezy Breezy conditions, all great ingredients for the possibility of having fire spread rather quickly. So what we want to do is we want to be very careful tomorrow. And we want to stay away from any kind of open flame. So if you have, for example, a barbecue planned tomorrow afternoon, try it or postpone it, reschedule it. Tomorrow's not a day to do any of that stuff. If there is a fire that does start because our vegetation is so dry, it can and will spread rather quickly on top of the fact that we do have those breezy to borderline windy conditions. We're looking at easterly winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, 74 degrees, your afternoon high. So yeah, we are seeing a big difference in temperatures there as well. 75 in Las Cruces. Easterly winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. And then after that, we're going to be looking at this massive high pressure system that's going to settle right over the western part of the United States. This is what's going to give us the opportunity to see those nice warm temperatures, calm conditions, and just beautiful weather overall. So here's a look at your nine day forecast. We're expecting to slowly begin to warm on Friday to 77 degrees, 87 on a Saturday, a little breezy, not too bad. It's not until Sunday that we begin to see those gusty, dusty conditions Saturday afternoon, so we do expect to see those stronger gusts, and then the strong winds begin to push in Monday, Tuesday. Monday, we're forecasting a high of 84 degrees. We'll drop to about 81 on Tuesday as that cold front begins to move in, and then the cold air settles, the winds begin to subside, and we really get that chance to see those really strong uh, cold air taking over, which means 70 degrees. Your forecast high on, Tuesday, on Wednesday, 71 Thursday, and then we're slowly beginning to warm Friday of next week. I do want to give a big shout out to our weather watcher, certified weather watcher. This one goes to Miguel Vigil. Thank you so much for allowing us to see this beautiful sunset in El Paso. And if you have any photos that you would like to submit to be featured on KTSM 9 News, go ahead and send them over to us through our social media platforms or email. News at KTSM.com. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Kennedy